Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Um, I haven't posted for two weeks, but for me it's like been a while. Um, I didn't really planning to purchase a lot of stuff to show you the haul, so I didn't do much YouTube. But um, I was thinking I show you my process of my empties. Uh, since I have a lot of products need to test, review, and finish them off. So I have a big basket here, but my half, but still quite a lot of products use nearly um, two and a half months. Yeah, let's have a look what I used, what I want to show you. I talk about it, it's the ColourPop uh, eyesh eyelashes, not eyeshadows. I nearly say eyeshadows. Uh, I used their eyelashes, which uh, it's a very special one, which wink actual um, lashes wink on the side. So double lashes on the tip. Uh, it make my eye look a little bit bigger because I have small eyes. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I, used like a four times or something or five times i don't remember but yeah it retired it it's a great one i enjoyed it so i maybe buy it again after i go through all my eyelashes collection <laughs> so second item i want to show you it's this bath and the body works uh shampoo i use shampoo 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 shower gel shower gel i use shower gel very slow um yeah we used some other ones and uh, go through slowly to all the bus and the body works one um yeah this one is for christmas i starting in december and i finished around the march like a season um yeah it's a quite a while but smells good and very enjoyable but i wish they have the refill so i don't have to keep buying or make extra plastic I can just refill inside, which will be good. I hope Bath and Body Works do that in the future. Okay, so next we talk about the mouthwash. I didn't just use those classic one. I tried some uh, wine from the subscription box. It's called Henry Bloom's Bloom's Oral Health Probiotic Mouthwash. It's um, it's good for your teeth. Uh, some people may not like fluoride. This one is a good one for you. Uh, it's fluoride free and tastes a little bit minty but not too strong. Feel like burning mouth a lot of time. The mouthwash and this one is good, gentle, good for your teeth. Uh, after you uh, floss your teeth and use some of that to clean it. Um, okay, next let's talk about my load of um lash bags i have a lot of lash collections um from all mostly bath bomb and bubble bar and also i have some of trying to try their shower bomb but i just can't use it i always forget but all of those it's every week every month we use some of the bath bomb uh, that's all of the leftover Back, you can have a lot of stains. I reuse a lot of them, so some of them might put a couple of actual one in after uh, I bought from online. They don't give you back, you just wrap it. I just take it out and I put in to reuse them. But all of them look very old and stained, so I'm gonna chuck them. Yeah, but smell still, you can smell all the fragrance on the box. I love it. Okay, so all of those empties down. Oh, there's a. Oh, see the powder color? It's the actual one. Okay, so after this, we talk about my face mask. Unfortunately, I keep forgetting to use face masks on my bed after shower. So I only have two here. One is the jar one, you know, the jar, Australian jar.com.au. They have some nice um hydration mask come out so you can have a try i like it's pretty hydrating and this blueberry one it's like a korean um face mask that i got from um 
there's a subscription box in Australia. Uh, those one, the big one called oh jeez, I forgot the name of the band brand band. Um, yeah, it's a box that you can pick uh, three different options. Um, but it's a big box. It's not like the battle box. It's a giant one that you can pick. Uh, yeah, it's from that one. But this it's like uh, I lo love blueberries, so it's great on face. Just all for just for hydration for winter dry skin. Now it's winter. Okay, after that I have a hair mask. It's from like a um, subscription box too, but I don't know which one come from. Uh, it's like a Jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore retreatment. I just use it as a condition, uh, conditioner after wash my hair, I'll put it on. Smell pretty good and uh, um, very thick, nice conditioner that make my hair smooth. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna buy it again um, because it's not that special but enjoyable and I said after that let's talk about one of the uh, finished Kmart uh, Cospo Moliton candle yeah I finally finished but there's a lot of wax left and destroyed in the end <laughs> it's not burned properly in the end it's destroyed but smell very city kind of very light city smell a, li a little bit fragrance but not too strong it's good for office burning i think but i just put it around to the balcony and burn it when i sit there or watching tv when my partner is not around because she's he's a bit allergy on um, all the candle burning um, yeah i love candles so i just burn one he's not around so I finished the one finish very slow because I'm not burn often when he's always around <laughs> okay after that let's talk about one hot um, pads I use the female thing called June Juni uh, it's a subscription box pad subscription box so if you use tampon or pads no matter what they have it Juni you can use like um, all different type of you make it as a subscription bundle and they send you every month include some candies or something chocolate yeah i i like them but i'm not buying them anymore but i recommend this um, pad if you want more varieties except all those basic one in um in what's it called supermarket or in those chemists this one is great as well you can get online um more bath and body work stuff i used uh, up one um crystal waves kind of seaside um foam hand wash i have a lot of them hand wash uh they create a lot of seaside ones since you know in australia queensland around it's all the beach all around us so yeah a lot of seaside one this one smells pretty good i love it enjoyed it maybe i will buy it I'm not sure because you know they have too much fragrance, too much flavor. It's hard to choose. After that, let's talk about a uh, kitchen cleaner. It's uh, in cloth, which I think come from the treat yourself, retreat yourself box or something. Yeah, uh, it's non detoxic. So when you have pads at home, you want to clean somewhere else. That pad will sniff around. Better use something non toxic, non toxic natural one. This one is great. It smells a little bit lemony, but it's not full, fully lemon. It's antibacterial as well, antifungal. It's called Enclove Kitchen. I might in the future buy a bigger one because this one is great smell, not strong and clean great. So I will get a bigger one in the future to use it around my new adopted little dog Twinkle. Okay. Another eyeshadow, eyeshadow, another eyelashes thing I use called beauty lashes. Uh, the lashes I got and it's not inside anymore. Uh, it's a very gentle, natural lashes set. Um, yeah, make my eyes just look naturally. Have more lashes, I would say, won't be exaggerate, go bigger. So th that's the one type I use. I like it. Uh, I might buy more. A really good one. 
Then this a sample of um, Eve Skin, which is Australian brand, just pop up. There are uh, cleanser. The cleanser is okay. Um, not crazily, you know, can remove makeup or anything. Just maybe second clean or something. Uh, I enjoyed it, but I'm not sure whether we'll get a second one. I see. Um, after I use all my cleanser. After that. We have some other samples of cleanser Bioderma cleanser. This one uh, feels great on the skin. Um, clean pretty good. Uh, not sure I will buy it again. I uh, not a bad experience, but not very very impressed too. Okay, after that, what do we have? Um, some summer's eve daily fresh. Um intimate cleanser uh yeah i not use intimate wash a lot i just generally use soap uh this one is sample from the gym um yeah it's okay i used to use something that make me feel itchy down there this one is all right i think it's a great cleanser um, underneath under your around your ass if you want to use it oh don't just use soap okay after this let's talk about the uh, makeup cleanser uh, some people recommend that so i tried it yeah, it's not fully remove all my makeup uh, sometimes i leave some black stain even i use this one so and uh, later i heard some people say it's not very environment friendly so i'm not sure we'll buy a big one or we'll try some better ingredients which good for the environment and cleansing even grayer greater like an oil like something i don't know okay Next, it's um, Lush, I think, sample. I think it's a shower gel sample. Smell good. I think it's the Gypsy one. I like this smell. So in the future, if I finish all my crazy Bath and Body Works gel and other stuff I got stock at home, I might buy this one. Uh, it's good for travel. The small size, you can just ask randomly when you go to the store. Uh, you just buy a big bottle of this gypsy one make you feel naturally fresh I would say I recommend it okay what else oh I still have more uh, lash bag um well, we'll just ignore this I already talked about it so next is I just finished this Baji uh super neutral from one of another subscription box I tried um it's the Oh my god, now my brain is not working. Don't remember that. I will put the subscription box name here. Uh, it's a milk cleanser. It's great, gentle, not fully strip your skin after use it. Uh, but I will buy it again, maybe if I can't, if most of them is too strip, make my skin too dry, I might buy it again. But they don't really tell you the full ingredients in the back. So the milk, I'm not sure whether it's fully cruelty free because maybe I use cow milk you know I don't know um after this I'm um, talking about a king skin crush it's a brand that the Australian brand just come out um I would say the, the serum is natural but um it's pretty oily for me um I'm a dry outside teaspoon oily combination so it will make me my skin looks like I just uh, I lot have a lot of oil after a run or something. Um, yeah, I well, probably want to get it again. Sorry, I just bought it for try, but now I decided nope, too oily. Okay, last but not least, no, actually I have two. <laughs> last, of course, not least, have two. So last two. Uh, first, it's the sample of the mascara, um, uh, from Lancome called Noor Hyponic Tick. Uh, the brush is pretty good didn't get smart up a lot so uh i'm clear and it's small on my small eye i uh, have another sample so i'll keep using it and this is just a basic coarse what was um scent thing called air week reads that, that's the brand their home sand still you can smell some but the stick is not working anymore so the flavor cannot really come out so i just chuck them 
don't bother to leave the balls around <laughs> after the water all run out. When I will buy it again, yeah, it's cheap and a uh, supermarket brand, so probably gonna get, get it again. But I'm looking for more things like bath body work stuff. I have a lot. I might try to use all of them. Okay, that's all. See, it's all empty except more uh, lush bags. I'm a lush crazy, as you, you know. That's all I have. Um, what do you use these days? I haven't finished a lot of makeup as usual because I'm not wearing makeup go to work and weekend sometimes I use it very rare um, yeah that's all hope you like my review and subscribe my channel and give me a like thank you so much and see ya bye